Please welcome to the stage my colleague and your academic prefect, Tai Kyo. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Tai Kyo, and it's an honor to stand before you all today. I'm a senior and your academic prefect for this year. I hope by the end of my message, you get not only a glimpse into our academic direction for this year, but how I can support each and every one of you in your journey in our Oaks community. As I think back on my Oaks journey, I remember my sophomore year, the soccer field. When I introduced myself, you probably thought I spent 24 hours a day studying, but think again, because I do actually see the sun. The story goes like this. As tryouts started up, I gathered up a group of friends and said, we're playing soccer. Even though the truth, that, truth is, none of us had ever really played. Day one on the field, straight to frost off. I mean, we were terrible, we could barely dribble the ball, and if any of our coaches are in the audience today, I'm sorry. But slowly, we got a little better, stopped arguing over missed passes, and realized that we were all there for the same exact reason, each other. Even though we weren't going to win much, we still practiced five days a week and fought through all of our games. But we didn't practice till dark every day because we wanted to turn pro. We did it because we were investing in each other. From a burned out athlete in another sport to an artist, our team had it all. But on the soccer field, it was the fact that we were all there relying on one another, learning about each other's lives, and building real relationships that made it so special. Of course, this speech isn't about the epic highs and lows of the Frost Off soccer team, but academics, specifically in the way of finding your passion and learning what you love. To me, the word academics isn't about taking that fifth AP course or being top of your class. It is finding that topic sport person or practice that makes you lose track of all time. That one unique mode of learning that speaks to you, outside or inside the classroom, is what academics and a life of learning is really about. I'm sure many of you are still wondering how soccer could possibly relate to academics, so let me tell you another story. Because when that soccer season ended, I was right back into the grind. To tell the truth, I was burned out I was stressed, and I was failing to see the future ahead of me. I was trying so hard to find the joy that soccer had provided me in one of my classes, and after a lot of searching, I finally found the real reason we learn, educate, and study. For me, it was philosophy. My junior year in argumentation in American ideology with Mrs. Gordon was my favorite class of all time. There was something about analyzing theories of our existence and the meaning of life that totally enthralled me, all while learning from one of the most remarkable teachers on campus. I spent hours just reading, listening, and absorbing some of our world's greatest thinkers. And when we were inevitably assigned essays, like all English classes, it didn't feel like homework anymore. I was, I was writing creative stories and narratives about man's search for meaning, forming poems, and contemplating things like the American dream, and how all of that related to my life. And isn't that what academics is really about? It isn't about that reaching that perfect 4.0 GPA, taking that AP class you dread for your college resume, or slapping on that extra activity you have absolutely no interest in. So often do we lose sight of the joy of learning in life chasing falsehoods that ultimately will bring few rewards unless you find and pursue that topic you truly love. If you remember one thing about my charge today, remember this. Let us make this year about learning what you love, pursuing your heart's passion. Because when you put that at the center of your academics, everything else will follow. Invest in your teachers, classmates, and relationships. A quote I live by is to assume that the person you're listening to knows something you don't. 
If we adopt that mindset, not only our relationships, but discovery of true connection in the world of learning would flourish. Allow yourself to find a mentor in our community because I know any teacher, anyone in this room is dying to really know you beyond your access profile. In your relationships, be the light that helps others see. At its core, learning is all about balance. It doesn't just happen in the classroom. When you find that topic, sport, or relationship that makes you lose track of all time, that is the essence of, life, of a life of learning and academics. So go try that new sport. Take that unfamiliar class and say hi to that new person or teacher on campus today. Find your own Frostoff soccer team or your own philosophy, your call to grow and dig into our world and chase it with your heart. As I continue my journey in learning, and many of you begin a new one, remember that nothing, nothing matters more than discovering your true passion. May God in wisdom guide you to invest in your relationships, study our universe, and pursue your own curiosity.